We're going full work from home pajama look today. Hey, it's Emma, founder of Nurse Burn, and today we're gonna look at three remote nurse job postings. These job postings are gonna be two in women's health and one in NICU. This is just a quick reminder that if you like this type of content, I hate doing this, but please give this video a thumbs up. It really helps us. One of the biggest requests from fellow ferns is to have sample job postings and quick tips on keywords and who should be applying for these roles. So we are now adding these videos ad free and sample job postings to our unlocking keywords product. This is something that you can purchase with the nurse fern resume template. And you can also add it on after the fact, if you have the template now and you're like, Hey, wait a second, I want this product. Let's review this NICU utilization management RN optum remote. All right. So this is a very popular remote nursing position because it specializes in NICU and these do not come up very often and nurses really want them. So in the information section, I want you to take note. And if you track your jobs, make sure you're writing down the requisition number. And then let's talk about this primary location. So primary location is Houston, Texas, but it states remote considered. I tend to fully ignore primary location on potential remote nursing job, uh, job postings. I usually scan and see it, but then I go down to requirements to see if there is additional guidance because often a primary location is corporate headquarters or an office or something, and they actually allow nurses to work in a lot more areas than that. I'm going to point out here that you'll see additional guidance on United Health Group job postings that will say something like, you'll enjoy the flexibility to work remotely from anywhere within the U.S., uh, you might also see them call out a specific state. Um, earlier today, I was looking at a job posting that wanted you to work specifically from Nevada or West Virginia. So this is a good thing to look for on the op um, Optum and UHG job postings. Okay, I'm going to skip over responsibilities because I always look at those after I see if I meet basic requirements. So required qualifications for this role. You need to have your RN license in your state of residence. So Right off the bat, that makes it eligible for nurses in all 50 states, which is cool. And they want you to have three plus years of NICU clinical experience. And then this is a computer skills bullet that you're willing to we work weekends and holidays and that you can get cable DSL internet in your home. So I primarily pay attention to the licensing and the clinical requirements. And then you'll see in preferred qualifications, these are icing on the cake for a job post. So if you have any of these, make sure you not only call out your required qualifications that your resume covers that, but make sure that your resume also covers any of these preferred ones so that it's obvious that you meet these. Uh, but like I said, you don't have to have them, but it's nice if you do. So certified case manager, compact RN license, any experience in UM, CM experience, knowledge of interqual criteria. And then this is something I don't often see on the opt-in job postings, but they do have a preference for a residence in certain states. And then UHG opt-in also always posts at the bottom for the required states for reporting salary, the salary ranges that you might fall in for this role if you live in those states. But it can be a good barometer to see how much they're willing to pay if you're not in one of the designated states. So after that, I go back and read the rest of the job posting, including primary responsibilities to see if it's something that you would still be interested in. And if you are, get that application in right away. All right, so Wildflower Health, Health Advocate, West Coast. It is remote full-time, responsible for providing care coordination and health navigation services. For this specific position, you need to be in California, Oregon, Nevada, or Washington only. So here's the quick skinny on Wildflower Health. Their digital platform and virtual patient advocates engage the chief health officer of the home, aka the mom, by monitoring patient-generated data and medical records to trigger personalized interventions while simultaneously informing providers and payers of addressable risks, allowing the healthcare ecosystem to work collaboratively. All right, so I'm going to jump all the way down to the qualifications. Relevant bachelor's degree in social work, public health, or related field, or equivalent combination of education and experience. So something you'll notice in this position is they don't specifically require that you're a nurse, but it is a position that nurses absolutely love to be in. And I know several who work here and haven't left for years. Three to four years, progressively responsible work experience and a healthcare focused role strongly preferred. So clinic setting, health plan, hospital, et cetera. An understanding of women's health, including pregnancy and postpartum. 
All right. So those are the main ones that I would look at for the requirements. And then, like I said, go back to responsibilities, check them out. And then down at the bottom here, they are in one of the states that post salaries. So you'll see the salary posted here, 65 to 75,000 a year. And then once again, they wanna make sure that you live in one of these states if you're applying for this role. So I had difficulty recording on the actual job post tab for the Evernote job. So I copied it into a Google document and we're gonna review it here. So this is the Women's Health Registered Nurse RN part-time with Evernow. Really nice up front. They say remote work opportunity part-time, $40 to $50 per hour. I also like that they make it very obvious up front, a pioneer in midlife women's health care. At Evernow, we are dedicated to revolutionizing women's health care during the perimenopausal transition and beyond. Okay, so let's scroll on down. We're going to skip those responsibilities and go to qualifications for this role. They want you to have an active RN license with no disciplinary action. And I immediately always go, okay, but in what state? Uh, and sometimes on the job board, you'll see that I have to make a guess, um, an educated guess based on previous job postings or what's a possibility. And when a job post has just remote and it's USA, I will say possibly are in in state of residence or a lot of times it ends up being compact. And in the second bullet, they do clarify that you need a compact nursing license. They also want you to have a minimum of three years nursing experience with experience in women's health, including obstetrics, gynecology, family medicine, primary care, um, strongly preferred. They do prefer if you have previous healthcare startup experience. And then they also have, you'll see this in a lot of job postings, they do want you to obtain a certification after you've started working there. Uh, this is something you might also see on job postings for like case management that within a few years, you have to be willing to get your CCM. And then the rest of these are great to make sure that you incorporate in some way in your resume, um, that you have education and you mentor patients, you have experience implementing educational programs for patients, strong clinical background, the ability to adapt patient care plans. These are all things we do as nurses at the bedside. And then technology, of course, with remote work, making sure that it's obvious and people know what skills you have, that you can thrive in this remote environment. Exceptional telephonic and virtual communication skills. Even if you do not have virtual or remote experience, you likely do answer the phone and talk to patients and family members over the phone at work. So make sure that if this is something that you're seeing, that you talk about that and include it in your resume. While this role is extremely popular and probably has already closed out, this is a good reference for you. And I would make sure you're following this company on LinkedIn, have your job alert set up, click that I'm interested button, and even bookmark their career tab in your browser so that you're frequently checking it for job postings to come up. Drop a comment and let me know what type of job posting you would like me to review next.